Have you ever wondered if it's possible to stay healthy and energized while traveling for business or vacation? It's totally possible and I'm going to show you how in this recap video of my recent trip to Colombia. Alright, so first off, when we go to the airport, we often wonder what can we eat? We have so many variety of foods, most of them are fast foods, but the good news is that if you really look closely, there are healthy options. So when you go to any type of fast food chain, maybe you see different stands of juices, smoothies, even whole fruits like apples, and those are good to take on the go. The only caveat to that is some of them have added sugar, so stay away from things that have too many ingredients, added sugars, and anything that has dairy, I'd recommend to stay away from that too because that could affect your digestion. So the Naked brand, it's one that I like to consume. And of course, make sure you drink a lot of water while you travel. You also have options for breakfast. So one thing that I love to eat and everywhere I go they have is oatmeal. And you can get really creative with this because you can buy it anywhere places such as Starbucks or any breakfast area really that you go to and then here you can add on things like bananas for example that you can either take with you at, from home or get at the airport bananas dried fruits you can also get some trail mix so that you can add in your nuts and seeds and really get creative so a combination of a whole hearty oatmeal with some mixed nuts and seed bananas fruits and a smoothie it's very very filling you can also get some healthy snacks inside the airplane oftentimes the trips are not long enough for them to provide a whole meal but you can opt in for snacks and i prefer to bring my own but just for the sake of this video i wanted to show you what you can get in the airport or inside the airplane that you can purchase so some pita chips some of them are actually lower in cholesterol or um, or fats, oils that they use, so that's okay. This one is non-GMO. You can also buy a little bit of um, hummus. So uh, hummus is made out of chickpeas, so that's a good source of protein, and it can fill you up for a little while. Another example of the type of foods that you can eat in the airport, maybe like a lunch or dinner, there are many Asian places that I find in airports or even train stations, bus stations, that you can get creative with what they offer. So even if you don't see something healthy on the menu, you can mix and match. They tend to be flexible, you just have to ask. So what I've done here is I've gotten a veggie bowl with extra rice and a veggie roll. So veggie bowl with all sorts of veggies and um, it's got some soy sauce, some sweet and sour sauce, and some rice, and of course, water. And how about working out? How do you stay fit while you travel or on vacation? That is really up to you. Depends on your itinerary, but you can make it work regardless. As short as five minutes, it makes a big difference in the energy levels and your health throughout the day. So for example, if you were to be in a place where you can either walk or take some sort of transportation, try and opt in for walking. Try and opt in for walking not only for exercise, but also because you get to see more things when you walk. And instead of taking the elevator, go ahead and take those stairs. So no matter how steep they are, just be careful and use the stairs to your advantage. If you wanna walk, if you wanna jog, if you wanna run, it's up to you. Now, since we're talking about exercising at different levels, I highly recommend that you also stretch, especially if you go on long road trips or long airplane or train or bus rides. Because when we sit for too long, our ligaments get too tight and our muscles start to hurt later on. So I highly recommend that you stretch a little bit, stretch your feet, stretch your legs, your arms, your core, so that you feel well throughout the trip. Now, once you've arrived to your destinations, you've got different options. You've got all sorts of restaurants or maybe if you cook at home. So I wanna show you that it's possible to make it work regardless. When you go to a restaurant, take a look at the menu and see what they have. Sometimes they might not have something readily available 
that's there so you can mix and match like I mentioned earlier you can even pick from the sides and of course you can get creative so as long as you keep in mind that with your meals you try to have some sort of plant-based protein a healthy fat and a healthy carb you're well on your way to feeling healthy and energized throughout the entire trip of course if you'd like to eat a little bit of sweets or things here and there uh, you can treat yourself my favorite things to have for breakfast are smoothies and you know internet is a wonderful place to look at locations nearby that offer healthy options so go ahead and use that i actually use the app called happy cow on my iphone where i can search everything nearby that is healthy options not only uh, with a restaurant but also a, a food store so you can really go a long way with this information now how about some appetizers something that you kind of want to have in between your meals or um, before you have your, your main course you can even opt in for that for example one of my favorite appetizers in South America or really anywhere go is um, either a mix of uh, plantains or potato if um, if it's grilled or if it's in the oven even better but of course there are places that only have fried so uh, it's up to you I love having some sort of sauce either some uh, nice seasoning or avocado sauce so you can get creative with your salsas too of course never forget the power of fruits it is the best boost of energy you can get especially in the morning for breakfast. Try to always have some sort of fruit in the morning for breakfast or as a snack because it will really help you in not only for energy but also for hydration. It's got tons of vitamins A and C so that will stay, that will keep you not only lean and fit but also it will help you with your immune system so you don't get sick easily as often people do when they travel. Another favorite dish that I love to eat, and you can really find it all over the world for that matter, is pizza. So, of course, you can get creative with your toppings. And since I don't consume any dairy, everywhere I go, I just ask for my pizzas to be cheese-free. So it's easier for them. They don't have to put any cheese unless they have a non-dairy uh, friendly vegan cheese so they can add that but for the most part I just have no cheese and then I add in all these sorts of veggie toppings and then I just ask to make sure that the pizza doesn't have any egg or milk there's also of course some restaurants that are vegan or vegetarian friendly so it's so much easier because you don't have to mix and match and ask and again it's not a hassle you get used to it totally fine uh, but there's places that they have things like meat substitutes if you're interested in that. Like I mentioned before with oatmeal, you can even do that at home. It's one of the easiest things that you can take everywhere you go because the dried fruit, the mixed nuts and seeds, and the oatmeal are all dry ingredients. All you need is hot water and maybe a little bit of milk that you can take in a box, a non-dairy milk. So you can eat that everywhere you go and you can pretty much find those ingredients anywhere too so it's so convenient it's so filling it's full of all these nutrients it's got your protein your carbs and your fats that are healthy and plant-based now if you want to have your coffee you can too uh, just remember that I recommend to have coffee before noon if possible and with dairy free and little to no sugar if possible so since we were in South America, they love to eat, and by they I mean we because I'm also from South America, love to eat all sorts of plantain dishes. So whether they're in the oven or they're fried, you can really get creative. And you can never go around with potatoes. Potatoes you can make in so many ways. I always prefer to have instead of fries, french fries, to have um, uh, baked potatoes and or boiled potatoes. Now, you can never go wrong with beans. Beans are found all over the world and are one of the most inexpensive foods that are filling and high in fiber and protein and iron. So you can really find these anywhere and I love it because everywhere I went on this trip, I found beans in all sorts of places and they all tasted different so you get variety. 
I love it when I see another vegetarian or vegan friendly place because I, I love to go there and support them and do a review. So make sure if you check out a place that has healthy options, give them a good review online so that people are aware and they get to see these wonderful places. And I just want to say you can really get all these sorts of foods and make it your own and mix and match. Just remember to try and eat as many green foods as possible. Count your colors. The more colorful your plate is, the better. And um, stick to plant-based foods so that you're on your way right after you have your meal. You don't feel sleepy and sluggish and you're on your way to your next location, your next adventure. Anytime you get the chance to go outdoors and explore, do some hiking, go out in nature, it's such a wonderful experience because you're getting many benefits. Not only are you getting a lot of mental rest because you're actually experiencing nature, you're getting a lot of oxygen, and you get to walk these beautiful trails and get to know the place. So it's a good way to keep your fitness levels on point and you also get to see beautiful places too. One of my favorite parts of traveling and eating foods that are very common in those areas is actually trying to make them myself too. So I've added a little bit of some content here that you can see of us making empanadas. So those are patties and they're typically stuffed with meat and rice, but we've made patties out of potato and seasoning. So like I said, you don't have to miss out on the foods that are cool, that are very typical to those locations that are homey to the places that you go and travel. You can always modify it either by looking by alternative places that have them or by simply making them your own. Now, if you're a lover of chocolate, the good news is you don't have to give it away. There's so many good benefits of chocolate. Just remember that the quality is super important. Try to stay away from chocolate that has dairy and that has too much sugar, but it's definitely an easy dessert that you can take everywhere you go so you just have a little piece after lunch or as a snack and it actually helps you with energy levels too so chocolate is not a bad thing after all alrighty so I hope you enjoy this video a mini series of what I typically love to eat when I travel now there's so many more and every time I travel I'll try and make some videos and pictures so that you can see I do apologize if some of the videos may be in vertical in a vertical view and that's because I took them with my phone and I forgot to flip on in a horizontal way so now next time I know not to do that but other than that I hope you take a lot of valuable information and just so that you can see that you can make things work everywhere you go you can stay healthy at home you can stay healthy when you travel anywhere either a country that you know or a foreign country so the most important part is to do your research before and to have that mindset that when there's a will, there's a way. So if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you're well aware of every time we post new videos with so much valuable content for you to use every day. Until next time.